Hi everyone, I'm Glenda with SureFit Designs. In these next couple of short videos, we're going to talk about buttons, button extensions, and facings. First of all, we'll take a quick look at a couple of garments that I have um, button extensions on. Here's a gorgeous jacket with a decorative button coming down center front. And we also have a contrasting uh, button here on a shirtwaist dress that's actually done from the uh, SureFit Design shirt kit and out of So Sensational shirts. And then, not as traditional, but you can see that I've got a single decorative button on this little shorty bolero, which is uh, from Beyond Bodice Basics. And the reason that I'm showing you this little shorty bolero is because I wanted you to note that there's just one decorative button there. And depending on how you actually place this button, it's going to determine the width of that buttonhole and of course where it's going to sit on center front. So now let's take a look at some different buttons and what you're going to evaluate in terms of getting the button to sit properly at the center front or wherever you choose to put it because not all buttons of course are at center front. First of all, um, a, a, we've got a real variety of buttons. What you typically have are buttons that have what are called shanks on the underside and they look like this and that's where you sew through to attach it to the fabric. So I've got a number of little shank buttons there. There are also sew through buttons like these ones where uh, the uh, buttonhole is going through either there's two, two little buttonholes or four little buttonholes to sew through. And then we also have uh, decorative buttons like my two little froggies here and uh, they are actually shank buttons. There's a shank on the back of those ones. And then I wanted to show you this toggle button as well because depending on how this button actually sits at the center front or on your closure line, I should say, of your garment, if you're using a toggle button like this one, if you want that toggle to be vertical, it's going to affect the width of the actual button extension that you put on versus if you had the button sitting horizontally like this, you're going to need a wider extension. Or at least it's going to, well yes, it is actually going to be wider because we're coming out from center front here. The other way, the button vertical is going to just go up and down. That distance, of course, is going to um, uh, establish the width of the, or the length of the buttonhole. But right now I'm just talking about drawing on the button extension. So there's a couple of ways to realize the button extension that is necessary for your particular button. And where you're going to find information on doing this actually is on page 20 in the SureFit Designs uh, dress kit instruction book. And what that basically says to do is to measure the width of your button. So I'm just going to use this little gold button here. And when I measure that, that is three quarters of an inch wide. And then the uh, instructions say to add a quarter of an inch to that um, and that's going to actually be the button extension that's going to come out from center front. And that quarter of an inch is approximate. The thicker your button, like this one, you'd likely need to have your, the width of your button plus a quarter. But if you're using a very, very thin button, you could likely go about an eighth of an inch beyond the width of the button. But for this example, I'll just say uh, the width of the button plus a quarter of an inch. So you're going to come out at center front that full amount. In this case, it is actually a three quarter inch wide button and the quarter inch makes that a one inch extension for the button extension. Another way to establish how wide your button extension should be from your closure line is to actually take your button and then place it on your closure line like that and then what you can do is measure half the width of the button and add that beyond the edge of the button. All right, so that's measuring half the width of the button. It's got that floppy little shank on it and it keeps flopping all over here. You measure half the width of the button and with that shank sitting at center front, 
you're going to come out and then mark that half width out here because you need to have some fabric on the other side of the button once it gets sewn in place. So a couple different techniques to add on the appropriate button extension. So I've marked that one inch in pencil and now I'll just make it a little bit darker so that you can see what I'm doing here and that would be the button extension on the front of center front. Now in this case center front is the closure line but if you were wearing an asymmetrical garment well then center, uh, the center front isn't going to be the closure. It just depends on what the design of your garment looks like. All right then another thing that I want to mention is where you put your buttonholes and you're going to mark that on your pattern as well. You know that there should always, I'll just do this in pencil initially, there should always be a button right opposite your apex and then depending on how many buttons you have, um, now I'll make that a little bit darker blue here, depending on how many buttons you have then you spread the others equally beyond either side of apex of your apex and that's so that you prevent the gapping at center front which can happen on so many different body shapes. Now the reason I'm, I'm being um, real careful here is because when you mark your buttonhole um, on your pattern you want to allow one eighth of that buttonhole to go inside the, um, I just said that backward, <laughs> we're going to start again, we're going to pretend that I didn't do that in pencil. You want one eighth of the length that you drew toward the, and I'll do it in a different color so that's not confusing here, let's do it in pink. One eighth of that buttonhole is actually going to sit inside the button extension and then um, I'm going to draw the rest of the buttonhole. It's going to be placed like this right here. There we go. And so this pink line now is actually the width that, that you're going to stitch for that or the length that you're going to stitch for that particular buttonhole. So your buttonholes always need to sit inside that extension approximately one-eighth of an inch and I'm just not measuring here where they're going to sit exactly and then you come in like this. Okay and that's going to become your stitching line for the length of the buttonhole. All right, um, I think that's everything that I wanted to show you about the button extension itself. Of course once you get that button extension in place then you're going to need to add a facing and that's what we're going to deal with in the next video. So you'll want to make sure that you follow along in part two for adding the facing and for this and other informative videos with SureFit Designs please make sure you visit the SureFit Designs Learning Center and go to the video library.